Today's Yoga Lifestyle with Melissa is about balance. Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa West and welcome to Yoga Lifestyle with Melissa. Linda from Facebook wants to know, why do I have difficulty balancing in yoga? I get this question so often about balance, questions about balance and yoga. I can't even tell you how often I get this question. And the reason for the difficulty in balance in yoga could be one of three things or a combination of all three. First of all, let's talk about what is balance. Balance is your ability to maintain your body's center of mass over a base of support. Put more simply, it's your competency to not fall over. Your ability or inability to balance is the result of three systems. Number one, your vestibular system. Number two, your proprioceptive system. And number three, your visual system. So first, your vestibular system. I'm gonna explain that to you. Your vestibular system is your inner ear. Your inner ear senses information about motion, equilibrium, and spatial orientation. This information is collected in your inner ear by the utricle, the saccule, and three semicircular canals. Your utricle and saccule detect gravity, that is information in a linear orientation, and as well as uh, linear movement, and your semicircular canals detect rotational movement. So next we're gonna look at, um, so first we're gonna train your vestibular system right now. So you're gonna look down at the ground, and you're gonna look up at the sky. And when you do this, you're stimulating your uricle and saccule to, to detect gravity. So that's information in a linear orientation as well as linear movement. So now let's turn your head from side to side. And as you do so, you are stimulating the semicircular canals and this is allowing your vestibular system to detect rotational movement. So these simple movement patterns will stimulate your vestibular system and help to improve your balance. So up and down and side to side. So second is your proprioceptive system. Now proprioception is defined as the unconscious perception of movement and spatial orientation arising from stimuli within your body itself. So we receive proprioceptive input from our skin our muscles, our joints, and sensory receptors that are responsible that are responsive to movements and pressure to our connective tissue. Proprioception is sensed by your entire nervous system. Inside each muscle and joint, you have these tiny meters called uh, muscle spindles and gogli tendons that are constantly measuring the amount of tension and degree of contraction that are happening. And this information travels up your spinal cord through your spinal cere <laughs> cerebellar tract and makes its way into your cerebellum. And then your cerebellum accepts the information from your skin, from your muscles, from your joints, throughout your whole body, and it calculates where your body through should be in space. So let's try and load up your proprioceptive system now. And if you have shoes on, take them off so that you can have maximum input from your feet through the ground. So what we're, all we're gonna do is just lift one knee in front of you, and you're gonna lean back and forth and notice how much your nervous system in your brain responds to the proprioceptive input from the ground, your joints, your muscles, and your position in space. Okay, and then we're going to, we can try this on the other leg as well. So you're loading your vestibular system, sorry, your proprioceptive system through your ankles, through the skin on your feet, through your knees, through your hip joint, through all the muscles up through your legs. And if you wanted to make that even more challenging, you could close your eyes. So 
The third part of your balance system is your visual system. You have sensory receptors in your retina called rods and cones. And when light strikes the rods and cones of your retina, the rods and cones send impulses to your brain that provide visual cues that tell your brain how you are oriented relative to the objects around you. So you can test this out right now. You're gonna stand on one leg and focus on something that's not moving. And then close your eyes and notice that without visual input, it becomes more difficult. Okay, so release that and let it go. One of the most popular videos in our membership community at this moment is our brain yoga standing for standing balancing postures. This class includes postures that stimulate your vestibular, proprioceptive and visual systems to help you with standing balancing postures in yoga. So I will link to that in the show notes. It's a 30 minute class and it's awesome. And I've got a testimonial for you from uh, one of our members here. This is what Beverly has to say about her experience with the class. She says, hi, Melissa, I've done this class at least eight times and it's made a big difference in my balancing poses. The most dramatic changes took place within the first six times I did the video. Before starting this brain yoga class, whenever I tried to do half moon balancing pose, my balancing arm was so shaky, I couldn't even do a fair approximation of the pose. I'm still not doing the full expression and perhaps never will, but improvement has been tremendous and I definitely feel like my balance has improved off the mat as well. So this is a class that our members are just loving and they're doing over and over again and they're experiencing uh, inc incredible improvements in their balance. So there's a link in the show notes on how to become a member. If you're not already a member, there's a link to the class if you are a member. And also I will link to two free classes on balance in the show notes, actually three now because we just filmed another one on balance. We filmed one this morning and you can get it at melissawest.com slash 354. So let me know what is the most challenging yoga pose that you find to balance. If you leave it in the show notes, I'm planning on creating a series of yoga classes uh, for balancing. And if you let me know what your most challenging yoga poses for balancing, then I will include it in the series. Thanks so much for watching. I will catch you next time. Melissa would love to hear your questions and thoughts. Please leave your comments below the video. Thank you for your reviews on iTunes and YouTube. Your reviews help us to share yoga and a yoga lifestyle with others around the world. If you have a question for Melissa, you can leave a voice message at melissawest.com and Melissa may answer it in an upcoming blog.